Hi, welcome back to my edit bay. We're gonna take a look at Final Cut Pro and do some in-depth stuff with audio today. We're gonna to look at a reverb out effect. We're gonna look at the muffled effect in Final Cut Pro. And we're gonna check out how to pan your audio left and right for some really cool audio effects with your sound effects editing. This video is sponsored by Track Club and we'll hear more about Track Club in just a minute. So let's dive right into this tutorial and talk first of all about reverb out. Reverb out is an effect you can do to a music track to get it to end sooner than the track itself actually ends. So I'm looking at a video that I recently finished on my channel about Final Cut Pro on the iPad. So you can see down here in my timeline that this music track looks a little differently than what you would normally expect. We've got the music track in a storyline, we've got it bladed here, and I've got this compound clip where it says reverb out. Now sometimes you'll do this effect on a track because the track sort of just ends without much flair to it. It doesn't end with a lot of drama. And this is an example of a track that just kind of cuts off at the end, and I really needed to push out at the end. So let's go ahead and option click this. We're gonna duplicate it and then I'm gonna drag it out and I'll let you listen to what it sounds like just normally. Bleak, and this says to me unequivocally that the future is indeed bright. And it just, it just ends abruptly. So I don't like the way that that feels. I want it to be uh, something a little bit more exciting. And the volume's really low, so you can see that I keyframed here to raise the volume. Well, I don't have enough of a clip here to really let that reverb out effect play out like it does here. So I'm gonna hit Command G to put it in a storyline and I'm gonna grab this gap clip from the end of my timeline by option clicking and dragging it in here. You can also create a gap clip by hitting option W on your keyboard and it'll put a little gap clip here and then you could click and drag that in and adjust the length of it accordingly. I like to make my gap clips pretty long just because I don't know how long the reverb is gonna go. And then what I do is I just take the end of the track and I blade it. And then I put the track and the gap clip in a compound clip. So we'll select both and hit option G and I'm gonna just type in reverb out uh, B just because I already have one called reverb out and I'll put that in audio and hit okay. So now we have this in a compound clip, but I need to have that reverb effect ha happen at the end. So I'm gonna go over to my browser over here and I'm gonna search for an effect called Modest Cathedral and I'm gonna double click to add it. So I'm gonna open up my audio editor by hitting Control A and then I will double click on the Modest Cathedral effect down here so I can keyframe it. And what I wanna do is hit option click and add a keyframe and then option click again and add another. And you can see this effect is at a 6.5 on how intense it is. So I'm gonna drag this up to ramp it up to 90 and I'm gonna drag this down to just cut it down to one. So what this is doing is it's taking the modest cathedral effect from essentially no effect at all, you're not gonna hear it just at one, to maxing out that effect to 90. And this is gonna take it from one to 90 in this span of time. So let's zoom in here a little bit and let's tighten this up just to make it even more dramatic of an increase. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking to get this part of the waveform as high as possible so that the reverb happens right after the hit. And let's play this back and see what it sounds like. That's the sound that I want. I want that, tsh, that drum hit and I want it to just echo out toward the end. So now when we listen to that in the context of the rest of the video, is indeed bright. And that's how you can reverb out a track to have the ending a bit more dramatic, or if you need to end the song prematurely, you can find a beat or some moment in the music where you end on that part and it reverbs out to kind of just smooth out the ending of that song. So the track I'm using in this video is from Track Club, and if you haven't heard of this music service, you've gotta check it out. Not only are they a company with purpose and strong values, but they're also incredibly innovative with their service. If you haven't heard of their Mixlab feature, you absolutely have to check it out because along with Track Club's values and high quality music, it's what really sets them apart from the other music services out there. I used Mixlab for the first time on a recent personal project and I was blown away by what I can do to deconstruct my music to fit my vision for whatever video I'm making. 
A lot of music services will have a version of the song that has vocals or just an instrumental version, which is great. And there are some where they do give you access to the stems and you can remove or change the volume in your editing software. But Track Club takes it a step farther and allows you to do all that mixing on the website and preview your modified score as you go. When you've got the mix you like, you can kick out the final music file and bring that into your editing software and off you go. No more managing multiple tracks or layers of music stems. No more compound clipping them and having to go inside to make adjustments. Now I love searching for music with Track Club now because I get to do it on multiple levels. I can search for songs with vocals, instrumental versions, and now I can listen to the tracks and focus on specific sounds or instruments and then use Mixlab to remix the music to focus on a synth beat or a simple piano sound. It takes scoring my videos to a whole new level, giving me even more control and a greater sense of empowerment. And that's because I have literally zero music abilities. I couldn't even begin to make these kinds of music tracks on my own, but with Mixlab, I feel like I finally can. So when I set up the sponsorship with Track Club, we talked about a one month free trial. And then I wondered, can we do more? And they were like, let's do four months. And I'm like, four months would be amazing for my viewers. So if you wanna try out a four month free trial with Track Club, check out the link in the description. I highly recommend it, especially a feature like this, Mixlab, really resonates with you like it does with me. So let's take a look at another free effect in Final Cut Pro called Muffled. And you can use that effect to enhance some of your sound effects editing that you might be doing for your videos. Now this again is a video that I'm using to showcase some of my photography that I've been doing with some of the digicams that I've been really getting into. And I wanna add a little bit of extra atmosphere to this. I have some of the in-camera audio here in my edit and that all sounds great, especially with the music. You know, you can hear birds chirping, that sort of thing, but I wanna add the sound of a dog barking, but I want that sound to sound like it's off in the distance. So let's, let's listen to what the dog barking sounds like without any effects. And that's a really great sound effect, but it sounds too close. It sounds like it's right next to the microphone. So I'm gonna drag this down to my timeline and I'm gonna search for the muffled effect. And let's go ahead and double click it to add it on. And let's hear what it sounds like. I'm gonna solo this clip by hitting Option S. Let's hear what it sounds like just with the muffle effect on by default. So you can already hear that it sounds like it's further away, that it's not so close to the microphone. The audio is peaking a little bit, so I'm gonna select the track and hit Control minus to drop it down. Let's just say maybe eight decibels. All right, now let's listen to it in the context of the entire video. So I'm gonna hit Option S again to unsolo it. And it's really subtle back there, but it's a little too subtle. So I'm gonna raise the volume, select the clip and hit Control plus, and let's go to negative five decibels. And let's listen to it again. And that's really nice. It just gives a little bit more flavor to the scene and it gives, gives you the feeling that maybe you're in a neighborhood. Maybe a more appropriate shot for it is this one with the flowers and we'll put it in that one and listen back. So that's just, again, is ways that you can build out the atmosphere in some of your musics and use some of these simple effects like muffle to make something sound like it's not right next to the microphone, really bright and forward in your video, but a little bit more distant and in the background. Now, another cool effect you can do to this same type of sound effect is using panning left and right to make it sound like it's in more in one ear than the other. So if someone's listening to it back and you want them to hear it more on the right side, like that dog literally as they're standing here looking at this scene with the flowers in the house, that the dog is off in the distance to the right, we can actually pan this audio to the right to make it feel that way. And I'm gonna select this track again. We already have our muffled effect, but I'm gonna come up here into the pan mode and I'm gonna choose stereo left, right. And I'm gonna pan this over to the right completely and then hit Option S to solo this clip. And let's listen to it back with it panned completely to the right. And we can also pan it to the left if you wanted to have the dog feel like it was off to the left of the scene. 
So sometimes when you do this, it can decrease the volume. So you'll notice that you may have to increase the volume a little bit to get it back to the way it sounded when it was coming through both the left and the right. So I'm going to unsolo this by hitting Option S and then play this back. I think that's already sounding a lot better. So let's hear it where it's not panned. And then let's listen to it with it off to the right. I just think that that little subtle thing that you do to your audio can really take it to the next level. So not only are we adding in sound effects to enhance a video like this, but then we're using some free effects in Final Cut Pro with muffled and then stereo pan left or right to just make it feel like it actually was recorded in the scene, which it wasn't. So those are three free effects in Final Cut Pro that you can use to level up your audio, especially your sound effects editing. If you think you might enjoy the Mix Lab feature with Track Club, then I highly recommend checking out the link below and starting your four month free trial with Track Club. That's all I've got for this one, everyone. Until the next one, I'll see you all soon. And don't forget, keep chopping that broccoli.